guys, my name is Emily, also known as Handmade with Love on Instagram. I post crafty videos on my channel twice a week and I try to post on Instagram as often as I can. And this is a super exciting video because today I have partnered with Peachy Cheap, who is a company that posts flash deals every 24 hours. And basically what that means is that they post amazing products at discounted prices and you only have a limited time period to get those products before they sell out. So they reached out to me and asked if I would be their guest designer. And of course I said yes because I've always been a wonderful fan of Peachy Cheap and I love their products that they post. They have scrapbooking stuff, Bible journaling, they have tons of planner stickers and even more things. So just make sure you follow them on Instagram so that way you get a heads up and a sneak peek of their deal, which they do sometimes. And that way you don't miss out on amazing deals at awesome prices. So in this video, I'm going to show you everything that you would get in this future kit. This is going to be released at the end of September, so you might be seeing this video um, a few days or a day in advance from when they post this deal. So I'm going to show you everything in this kit, and then I'm also going to provide you with just a little bit of inspiration so that you can kind of make something of your own and see what I make. So in this kit, you get the Hooray set from Crate Paper. This is the um, 12 by 6 sticker sheet. I believe that's the right measurement. 12 by 6 uh, sticker sheet. And as you can see, a lot of these stickers have holographic foiling, which are super cute. And then this is the back. This is a birthday themed kit, but I think that a lot of these could be used for more than just birthdays, depending on um, what you use them with. So as you can see, some of these pieces are very versatile and the papers as well. So this is everything in here and there's super chunky glitter pieces and holographic pieces in the ephemera as well. And there's a total of 40. And then this is also what's included in the kit. This is a puffy sticker set. There's 13 stickers in here and they're super cute. And almost all of these ones are birthday themed. So for the papers, you get five double-sided sheets and these are very thick cardstock. And I'm gonna go through quickly and show you what they look like and the names. So this first one is called Sprinkles, and it's one of the most versatile papers in the collection. I think that you could use this with anything. It doesn't have to be just birthday themed. This next one is called Cake, and this paper is perfect for fussy cutting if you want to um, fussy cut some of the cakes out and make a really cute card. This one is called Cheers, and it's got lots of phrases, so if you wanted to, you could cut those out as well. And that's the back and then this next one is called party I think this is my favorite one because the fussy cutting options are just so adorable I love this little porcupine and this alpaca over here with the pom-poms so cute and then this is the back so once again a really versatile paper you could use this for anything um, and if you were making like a flip book or something you could cut it up and then put a different paper on the other side if it wasn't something that was birthday themed and this last one is really adorable as well. The front side is pink with sprinkles, and the back side says yay. And this paper is called yay. <laughs> Very fitting. So yeah, so that's everything that's included in the kit. And um, if you stay tuned for the end of the video, and I'm going to show you a few ways that I'm going to use these products, and I hope you can get inspiration from them as well. Hey friends, so I am back. It's been a few days since I filmed the introduction of this video. I'm sorry if my lighting looks a lot different than the beginning. I actually didn't have enough room to film everything, so I had to move it out into my living room. So that's where we're filming now. I'm in front of a window, so the lighting is alright, but hope that's okay and doesn't look too off. But yeah, I'm super excited to show you all the things that I was able to create with this kit. Um, I honestly still have so much left over. Like, I can't believe this is such a great deal for everything that you get. Like I made so many projects. So I'm just gonna show you what I made so that this video isn't super long, but the first thing that I made is a stuffed envelope for my friend. And her birthday is in the end of October, but I just kinda wanted to go ahead and get a jump start. And that's really, it really reminded me of her, this collection did. Like she loves bright colors and all these cute little animals and stuff. So yeah, I felt like she'll definitely love this envelope. And it's a stuffed envelope and at the top is a shaker as you can see. Yeah, super pretty sequin mix to match it and the first thing that I made was this rosette and I just put it on a, the on a straw so that I could stick it inside of the envelope if you're wondering the size of the envelope I believe it is a 8 by 6 I think no I think it's like 8 by 8 I don't know that's a square and it's definitely not a square um, I can leave the measurements down below if you're interested on in knowing the exact size of the envelope because it is pretty large I think it's like the second to largest one that you can make on the envelope 
envelope punch board, if that helps. But I also included some candy, so I put those in there. She loves those. Those are some of her favorite, and then she loves coffee, too, so I just included this, like, coffee chocolate bar. This cute little tea pouch that I made, I decorated it with this collection, and then I put um, a little tag on there that says, let's party. <laughs> so that's kind of like a punny reference. And then I have a mask in there. And then this is a card that I made with the collection. I made a bunch of cards. I think this one turned out to be my favorite. I just think it's so cute. And I love the little glitter on the side and then the foiling on the hearts to kind of match it and tie it together. And then on the inside, it just has a little ostrich. So cute. So that's the card in there. And then I have two pins. And then I also have a Starbucks gift card that I'm going to be putting in there. I just left it in my car, and I don't want to go all the way out there and get it. But, yeah, and I feel like you can even fit more in this envelope. So if you're thinking about doing this for a friend but you're not sure if it will hold everything, like, there's definitely still room in here to put more stuff, like, as you can see. I actually put some um, shred down at the bottom so that way everything wouldn't fall out because, like I said, it's still got room. So then I just arranged it in there. And I feel like this is a cute kind of like side gift gift some, to somebody, like something they can have to remember their birthday by and like remember the present that you got them. So this will go in a bag with a few other little things that I have been picking up for her for her birthday. So yeah, I just love this idea and I feel like it's really fun to put together. You could even include this in Happy Mail if your um, pen pal or something is having a birthday, like it wouldn't be too much to ship out and you can fit lots of stuff in there. So another thing that I made was this kind of sort of mini album. Um, I don't know if I want to call it like a mini album just because there's not technically pages. So it's just one 12 by 12 sheet of paper and I can link the video down below that I use to um, cut and score all of my paper. And it just gives you like exact measurements and all of that. So um, if you want to watch that video, it's better of a tutorial than this one. This is just kind of what I made with it. So my 20th birthday was in August, and me and my boyfriend went to Disney World. We are annual pass holders, so I mean, we go to Disney World quite often, but it's a lot more magical whenever you're there on your birthday, trust me. Um, so I just wanted to document some of the memories that I had from that trip. So I just made it into this little um, mini album type of thing, and like I said, it's just one 12 by 12 sheet of paper, and it all unfolds into the full sheet. So in the kit, you get five 12 by 12 double-sided papers. So on the front side is the red, and then the back side is this beautiful grid pattern. I love it, and I like that it's kind of muted so that I could put all of these pictures on there and it didn't look too busy. So at the top, I just have some pictures and then some journaling to match. Sorry if there's a little bit of a glare. The sun is starting to go down, so the lighting is kind of shifting. But yeah, so there's this picture and then this is from the stickers. I love this cute little banner. This is a puffy sticker and then some more stickers on the side. And in the middle, um, this journaling card comes in the ephemera pack. So I love that and I just documented a few things on it to represent like what I've been loving the past year from 19 to 20 and like kind of how I felt. Um, on the side, I just did some decorations and then I did some more journaling over here. And then this flower is actually from Tuesday morning. I think it's one of the only things that is not included in the kit um, besides this heart right here, which was sent to me by a pen pal. And then at the bottom, um, more decorations, some rickrack here, and then another picture of us posing with a character. So yeah, it's just kind of like a small little keepsake. I didn't want to make like a whole mini album. I felt like that was kind of unnecessary because I didn't even have that many pictures. But I did want something to just remember my birthday by. So really fun and really cute and easy and I just love the way that it looks with this kit from Peachy Cheap. I think it really ties everything together and since it is birthday themed it just looks really cute. So another thing that I was able to make were some of these cards and here I have five for you. So they're all different sizes and I use all kinds of different papers so this one is on a pink piece of paper. On top of it is a piece of holographic vellum as you can see and I love the way that the holographic vellum looks with this collection. So you're going to see that I use it quite a bit because it really ties in with like the silver glitter from everything. So this is the first one. I like to keep my cards pretty simple because I think they look more professional that way. But you could go all kinds of crazy with them. Like, like I said, I still have so many stickers and ephemera left. Like I definitely could have done more layering and stuff. But I was trying to stick just to what was included in the kit. So this is another one. Behind it I have this piece of glitter tool this holographic tag, and then everything else is from the collection. 
next one is super cute. I made some banners from the papers that I got with some scraps. And then I did some labels behind it and put the sticker on some foam dots. And then the um, word is from the sticker sheet. This is what it says on the inside. Love this one too. It's super cute and I love that how this trim matches the paper so well. This is up on some foam. That's what it says on the inside. I think this one ended up being my favorite. I kind of did like this sneak, um, I don't know what is this called, like peekaboo trick with cards. I really don't make cards that often, so I, like I said, these definitely aren't like professional cards or super crazy, like anything like that, but they're just kind of simple, but I like them. Um, this is a tag from the ephemera, and then I just punched a hole in the paper and put, I forget what these are called, like a brad there, kind of like a um, like a hard metal piece. And then that's what it says on the inside. That one's super cute. And then because, I, like I said, I had so many paper scraps left from making all the cards and stuff. Like, I didn't want to just stop there. So I made some of these. And these are small little tiny tags that you can, like, tie to a bag or, like, a present or something that you're going to be giving to someone. And I feel like these are fun. Everybody needs these. Um, sometimes bags don't always come with them. So you can put your own or you can take one off and then reuse one of, that you already have or you've made. Um, so yeah, I just made some of these and I think I could even send these to pen pals because like I said, like everybody uses these. These ones are all uh, birthday themed, but they're still super cute. So basically what I did was I just folded it in half and then put a sticker or something small on there. Then I opened it again and punched a hole on this side. Then I stuck the, um, I think these might be called grommets. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm sorry that I don't know the correct terminology for this, but um, so yeah, it's like a brad. And then I hole punched that through. So that way it's got like a really sturdy base so that way it wouldn't just easily rip off of the bag or something like that like if you're traveling or going to a birthday party so i made that one and these don't really say anything on the inside because you can just write to or from kind of customize it however you need to i love that this one is a star and that it matches the blue like i didn't even know i had those in my collection until i started making these this one is really cute yeah, it was just like a simple way for me to use up some of the remainder of the collection. I don't like having just a few things left. It makes me kind of intimidated to use them. Like, I don't know what would match. But um, I'll definitely be using up the rest of what I have. I'll show you. So this is pretty much it. Like, I don't have any stickers left, I don't think. And then I only have just a few scraps left of the paper from whenever I made the cards. But I'll definitely use these up because they're like all rectangular pieces so even if I choose to include them in a card or like this tag on a gift bag or something like that <laughs> ignore my cat um she loves being in all my videos she's a little bit of an attention hog <laughs> but yeah so I really don't have too much left and everything that I do have left I will definitely use it's not like it won't get used so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and you got some inspiration on how you can use this collection yourself. I hope that you'll be able to pick up the deal and that it won't sell out too fast. Make sure you follow me on Instagram to see more pictures and make sure you subscribe to my YouTube to see videos like this in the future and make sure you follow PGG because they have the best deals at the best prices and you definitely don't want to miss out on those. So bye guys. Hope you have a great day.